The Del Mar Union School District held a special meeting this evening to fill a vacant board member position. The seat has been open since a former board member was arrested in a prostitution sting and resigned. Tonight, the district picks someone for the job, but as CBSH Regina Yurita shows us, that's not sitting well with some families. That's right, former school board member Scott Wooden used to attend meetings inside this building right behind me, but after being arrested for a misdemeanor charge of soliciting prostitution, he resigned. Tonight, five candidates interviewed for his seat. DMUSD just elected a new voice who will play an integral role in the decision making surrounding the education of the students in the school district. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of the United States. Alan Colos, a former school board member, will now take the seat after getting support from three of the four board members tonight. I ran for election and won before, so I've held the seat as an elected official and had to resign it when I moved overseas. During the special meeting, an interview process was held by the governing board of trustees, but his vote did not come easy. If you're okay with him, it seems like you really don't want to support Darren. You ran with two of us. I just don't understand that. You ran with him on a slate. There was back and forth discussion that prolonged the vote. One of the other candidates who was considered tonight included Danielle Royball. She's a mother who has gained support from some of the community, but only one current board member tonight. She says the board of trustees the ignored the public's vote. What just happened tonight was an explanation of it doesn't matter what the voters want. What matters is what the board wants. Parents have raised concern over some of the issues involving the current Board of Trustees, especially after the arrest of Wooden. Many criticizing the district for not having a special election that allows voters decide their but own school board member. Some families are already talking about pushing for a recall. If that happens, 500 signatures would be required, not to mention it would require tax dollars to have one. Regina Yurita, CBS 8.